shouldn't let people you murdered bother you. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no! I'm not jumping! Oh. Oops. None of this needed to happen! You could've just- I KNOW YOU DON'T LIKE ME! Hail, companions, and welcome back to the Coffin of Andy and Lele. Well, anyway, let us talk to our ex-girlfriend, presumably. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? I was hoping to find some panties to sniff. Okay, anyway. The video just started. Come on, chill out, chill out. Julia. Huh? You've been quiet all day. What's up? No, it's it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build-up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, okay, but please, don't get mad. When have I ever once even raised my voice with her? You know, you could tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if it's just for her own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake too? I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I, I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. No, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I, I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that or brought this up after all. No, no, it, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? <laughs> she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh no, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no. You'll pull on it again. <laughs> oh, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? <laughs> you know, I used to have a friend that I'd pull her hair. <laughs> like I, I started doing it in high school. Like, like we were just friends, but I would like yank her hair, go yank, and just pull on. I wouldn't do it too hard, but but yeah, that's just that, that's something I actually did in real life. Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I just, I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. You'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you, bothers you. Hmm. Okay. All right, you little demon. I brought you your colored pencils. You don't have to use your own blood. Yes! Thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's... F <laughs> That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Got a candle. And let's get out of this dream nightmare sequence. Oh, wait, what's this? Huh? Is this a secret? Secret? 
Are there like secrets I can... That's weird. Why does that go that way? Well, whatever. I guess go. I think I've interacted with everything I can. Place and lit the candle. What is that? Oh boy. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't even been a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't really bother you. Well, it's good to know. Yeah, you, <laughs> you shouldn't let people you murdered bother you. <laughs> You look guilty. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind. There is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. Mm, well, uh -huh. yeah. Mm. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Yeah, who hi- Okay, never mind. We know who hired the hitman, but how did they- How did he know? I don't know. You found Ashley in the closet? There you are, you menace. Ta-da! Oh, yeah, you know, I just realized something. When he, uh, asked his girlfriend to put her hair in a ponytail, uh, Ashley wears a ponytail. <clears throat> no, it's just, oh, you know, that's, that's, that's completely, that's completely normal. It's not abnormal for a guy to find qualities in a woman that remind him of his sister or mother. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's not weird. It's just, it's, it's completely, completely normal. You know, it's completely normal. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. I'm missing that limb you cooked. Why? <laughs> Why? I figured. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I thought. <laughs> I uh, I thought he meant. I wish I had another one. <laughs> anyway, I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you gonna cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Okay. So are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. All right. You got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. Well met. Can I, uh, get this last limb? Wait, what? Oh. Why are you making this difficult? You got a limb! Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust perchance it may cook but to burn i knoweth not verily the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all Thee possesseth the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance tis of little consequence to thee. Oh god, was that- did I make a mistake? I hope not. Placed all severed limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Uh-oh. That girl that we accidentally killed long ago. Fight, snuggle. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Nope. Open it up. <sighs> Open it up, Andrew. See what you have done. Remember. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh, guess she's still sleeping. Oh, I don't think she's sleeping, guys. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't! You open the crate. Oh, no. Oh. Oops. Wait. Wait. What? Why why is she dead? How how did why, what what that, that can't be right? What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, 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 it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh, well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Just, let's just leave her here. No, she'll, it'll start rotting. And, and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I... Uh, I... Ah, fuck! Let's just hide it then. What? What? Huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. <laughs> it's fine if it's the both of us. No! No, you fucking idiot! You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You, you figure something else then, since you're so smart. Okay, 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 okay. Let's... Let's just, uh, uh, like, move her somewhere. Yes, uh, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. All right. Where? Anywhere in the forest should, should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, yeah, there's probably, that, that, there's probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. This is dark. Uh, this will have to do. You got tarp. Oh boy. There is, yeah. The first time you accidentally kill someone, it really puts your uh, life in perspective. I'm not saying for I'm not saying from experience or anything. <laughs> uh, uh, like no, no, no. I, I totally didn't murder someone back in early 2015. No, 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 no. I promise. Nothing happened. <clears throat> anyway, you wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. You got a wooden plank. You know, you could put that rock over her. That, 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 that would be pretty good, I think. Maybe here, there doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. 
Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough for her already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here just fine. I... Uh, okay, fine. Shove her in there. Maybe put this... Oh, wait, that is... That's not a rock. That's actually the body. You and Lele push the body into its grave. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this... Uh, this obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden, too. Want to hide it with some leaves and such? You got foliage. I got some rocks or something. Um, yeah. Like when you when you bury a body, you want to make sure it looks natural. Like leaves. I'd put a rock or two there. That's what I did. I mean, um, <clears throat> that's what I would do <clears throat> if I uh, actually accidentally intentionally. I mean, accidentally, accidentally uh, murder someone. A long time ago. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Anything else? Yeah. Got some foliage. Put some rocks. Not too Like maybe one rock. Or maybe that's too obvious. I don't know. Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah. This looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's got to be something in here to hold them in place. <sighs> Rocks? <laughs> you got a stone. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. It was just a saying. <sighs> what is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lele, Le Le I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> there, there. He'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm going to tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I'm your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever, it's you and me now. No one else will like you because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me! Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? 
Be my friend or else. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had a capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah. My teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by, too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, uh, wait. I see how it is. You're still pit. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we freaking go again. She's dead, and yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. Uh, I need a knife. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Oh, God. Huh? Where are you going? Huh? Oh, I'm controlling. Okay. Oh, why? No, you don't. You don't need a nif a knife. Rude. You go to hell. Wait a second. Is this our apartment? This is our apartment. Huh. Uh, what's in here? Nothing in here. Oh, it's dad. Hello, son. Hi, dad. Um... Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no. I'm not jumping. What? <laughs> I didn't... What? Huh? Right. It's, it's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I, uh... Wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. <sighs> I'll go see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Wow. Okay. Dad got fired. Um, can I go in here? What's mama doing? Okay, let's grab a knife. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. You got a kitchen knife. Hooray! 
I'm so, so, uh, I'm so happy. Hmm. Am I going to kill her? What? What are you doing with that knife? Brief. Oh God! Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you, but in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. <laughs> You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, a moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Eck! Gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm. Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah! What? <laughs> This is so weird. Oh, God, this is so weird. Oh, huh? What? No, I want a do-over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just kill our parents? 